So, the equation is uh, a zero equation is a class classical object as a theory integrable systems and um, first it was considered by my work with Mikhailov this the system has a booby trap it looks like a risk invariant system. However, it's not relativistic invariant because it's relativistic invariant only in the linear approximation. The uh, linearized version of the system is indeed relativistic invariant, but completely nonlinear none. So what we next do is uh, study the higher dimensional um, a version of this model. Uh, well, I, I, I will read now. Uh, I did just um, right now. I will write the full for four dimensional system, which is subject of our study. You see the y capital. It's a known function. It's some. Um, matrix function, complex value and invertible, Z1 and Z2 and so far are complex variables. Uh, this is nonlinear system that can be considered as um, a compatibility condition for the, lock, the following clock system, where A and B are potential, still unknown and, and the lambda is a spectral parameter. Uh, this system is must be accomplished by the uh, asymptotic condition. Asymptotic condition is psi, I will call this psi matrix, I will call this wave function, just by an, an analog of the Schrodinger equation. And uh, say minus one is the inverse spectra uh, wave function. So wave function is unit at lambda tends to infinity. And the first P is the first term in expansion. Then the next potential, the um, um, Y capital, it's a value of this function at lambda equals zero. Uh, so it doesn't depend on lambda and potential A and B are expressed through of this y, y function as follows. And then comparing expansion in infinity and then zero, we will get this desirable equation. Uh, Uh, so like the previous equation actually, where the O, Z, R uh, different, but in the special case when Z4 is minus Z, Z, Z3 and Z2 and Z1 and Z, Z, uh, equal, so we only two um, efficient, uh, where will remain that is this two dimensional system. This is exactly a Carroll field system. You, usually, if there's a classical Carroll um, field system, if all Z are real. But anyway, in a general case, it's a Hamiltonian, it's a Lagrangian system. Or oh, in this case, they have the simple Lux representation. And, it, um, uh, and it, um, this is Lagrangian system, this is Lagrangian as follows. That the simplest solution of this equation is in the psi wave function, is a rational function with simple pool, and the inverse uh, wave function also a rational function with a single pool. 
Uh, in, in principle, so far, it, it could be arbitrarily complex numbers. But uh, 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 from the condition C psi, psi minus one product equal one, we can conclude that P is P square is a projective operator. And so far, we will study only one special case of projective operator where uh, B vectors, so if the rank the all projective operator is degenerative, but if it has rank one, it can present it like uh, the tensor product of uh, vector and covector. But we will consider only these cases. Now, A and B, but then so they express it by a following uh, by for by this formula, and A and B remember that they have only poles and lambda, and that lambda not, and, uh, and lambda is uh, not. Oh, uh, as then, then though no A and A and B, they do not depend on lambda at all. The potential so. But this formula presents them like the rational function, so the O residue must be cancelled. And we have the following condition very easy that a covector, the vector Q in my orthogonal to project operator. In the same way, we can introduce. Complementary projector operator P hat. It's also projective operator, but, but we again demand that this is a, a bivector, so for rank one. And uh, now, repeating this calculation, we see that. Uh, Action of, of of projector to covector F, the second covector, it is zero also. It's, it's coming from this condition. So we have actually it, it means that the projector is now is a defined function, but that uh, we have actually two projectors and um, half of the of, of first is defined by first equation, the second by defined by second equation, but they are connected by, by algebraic relation. So actually the, the full problem is solved. Uh, Now, in, in the previous uh, uh, the solution constructed in, in the previous part of uh, very simple because we realize it so called dressing on the zero background. But now we can realize dressing on the non-zero background on the arbitrary background. So this is that that is psi not the psi not by by that's it's a solution of of the of, of the equation with a and b equal to zero so free equations the solution of free equation is given here so now we, we, we construct function f and g which are value of lambda of, of this function psi and psi naught in, in, in poles, lambda zero and uh, zero. And so this is final definition of uh, components of projector. So 
So, the, so the, as far as uh, what, why is it just a value of function, of wave function at lambda equals zero, we have, so this is the solution of our, our system. In a general case, if uh, initial, if, if we perform dressing from arbitrary level, so we have some solution of uh, lux pair corresponding to some solution of the initial system. So this system is called generalized the heart of Monaco system because the first example was studied in my work in Monaco in 81. And now the, the, the dressing functions now which, which are here, this should be lambda naught and mu naught. And uh, a new solution again constructed by, by the same construction. The P hat is new projector. And uh, B, B and, and the, the complementary projector P tilde is complementary to P hat. And uh, both of them are. B vectors, an element of B vectors are constructed like here. Uh, so this is a trivial dressing. It's it's a non-trivial dressing. I mean, only one pole dressing on, on arbitrary arbitrary uh, uh, solution. In other words, what's the strategy? We have any solution any solution of this integrable system. We have corresponding black sphere and we construct a new solution such that the wave function in the black sphere got additional pole and uh, the rational function is additional pole. The same way inverse um, wave function also that's important has a single uh, a rational function with a single pool. Uh, then we, uh, we we find that we, we multiply uh, we must multiply initial initial solution to the to the factor like like this, and if the p is. Uh, um, um, some projector operator which we constructed before. Now we can, of course, generalize this system and consider that a new solution has not only one pole, but an arbitrary number of poles, it's multiple solution. In this multiple solution, the dressing function I remember is now it's expanded to partial fractions. And R inverse function is also uh, expanded partial fractions. The residue of, of uh, you know, functions are by vectors. And again, uh, vectors in, in 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 function s and covectors in function r are known, and uh, th th there are the component c can be solved for found from solution of algebraic equation. So the problem is completely defined by the by it's uh, but this uh, so far the 
elements of um, the direct and inverse function are, uh, function are non-connected to each other, but we can impose a reduction. Now, by the way, in all cases, the result of mountain delta can be um, present as a result by one dressing, uh, multi dressing it can be present for example one dressing, but the dressing function now is product of projector operator. The order is important, and all projector operator are rank one and uh, are by vectors. Uh, now, uh, this is a very general case. Miles, if we suppose that these four complex numbers are connected to, to each other, is the, so the, the, the one is z uh, four bar and the same z three and z two, we get generalized that Monaco Zagara system. If if you, why is if if u is uh, real, so this is literally the Nakov Zakharov system. Now it's a little bit more general system. And uh, what is important that in this case, my collaborator Nestor point attention to this important attention to this important point that one's possible make a following reduction when, when the we we, we start uh, we introduce psi hat function which is inverse function in point one by lambda bar and if we consider the this function coincide, so a very strong restriction, which is compatible with the system. In this case, everything can simplify, and one must follow only for one system of projectors. The complementary projectors are constructed automatically. This is the key, the main point, and. Uh, So this equation like now the potential are connected by some relations uh, a, a, a and, and uh, across b and b cross and uh, so this is actually a proof this fact. Now, uh, poles of inverse function, inverse wave function, are just one by lambda. The inverse uh, conjugated uh, value of of poles of um, wave function and. Uh, Complementary projectors are automatically constrained, and all projectors are Hermitian. It's important theorem coming from this reduction. So this I I, I skip this point with this proof. And I consider a different system. Suppose that all Z are real. So we had, so lot of follow the logic. First, we have four dependent complex variables, then our metal conjugated in pairs, and now the four are pure real. 
And in this case, the, this case was studied by Ward. In this, when, uh, so actually, it's a hard ultra hyperbolic system. But suppose if x1 equal x4, this is just the hyperbolic system, which again looks like relativistic invariant, but it only relativistic invariant in the linear approximation. That it, what's important, uh, one can expect that in this case also not necessary to construct independent uh, solution for direct and inverse wave function. They are connected by reduction, but reduction now is different. A reduction now is very simple. Actually, this this uh, potential now anti Hermitian and uh, reduction is following that uh, just uh, function to the the, the, the complex conjugated function is an in, in inverse function to psi. Uh, this R is some, I'll just call it the, the, uh, the variable which is in, in the end put it with one. What's important that in this case, that, um, one can consider that function um, Y capital belong to a group, but it's not necessary. It's a group with unimodulary group, but it's not necessarily unitary group. This is an important point. Um, there are a little bit more class function. The function has Um, at operator square model of this operator is is one, but it's not necessarily that H is one itself. It can be so it's a little bit more broad class of of groups. Anyway, the whole construction cell repeat. The previous one now the operators projectors are self-adjoint uh, Hermitian and uh, the, the, the uh, poles for eigenvalues for uh, inverse function is just uh, conjugated of to initial function. This is, well, and the last point is really in, in new. So we have, initially we have four complex variables. And now we can put two of them connected by conjugation and two as real. Now we have three plus one integrable system, which is, uh, how much time I have more? Uh, you have uh, uh, around 10 minutes, 12 minutes. How much? Exactly. 12. How much? Twelve minutes. Oh, well, I am I'm finishing now. Okay. So probably this is the most important part. Uh, and uh, in this case, we can construct a solitonic solution. So far, I did not. So in all previous cases, the solitonic solution includes arbitrary function of one or two variables. So in this case, it's a very broad class of solitonic solution. 
but they were probably not very interesting from physical viewpoint. And this uh, special case, we study only exponential type of solution. So now we have again, after all reduction is done, we have a solitary solution depending on arbitrary matrix function of one variable like this. And we will consider that actually this is a forest color. This is a solution of uh, element of solution of um, initial non-linear non system and the matrix function. Matrix elements. F1, F2 are the functions so far a bit for you. And then we will consider that all of them are exponents. And we will obtain the solitonic solution propagating along in one direction is constant velocity arbitrary constant velocity. And it has some perpendicular structure and decay in perpendicular direction. So it's like a two-dimensional soviton localized, localized on some plane and decaying uh, in, uh, along of this plane in all directions expressing in the elementary function. So far, I stopped here because we studied only one solitonic solution, but it's perfect a program for young uh, scientists, for students, for graduate students to study multi-soliton solution. So the, the complex, the, the, the whole system of solitonic solution in this case is extremely rich. It will be solitonic solution propagating in, uh, with a, a, a cluster of solitons propagating between fixed velocity and interaction of that cluster, each cluster propagating with its own velocity. What, how is scattering started, it's not known. So we, we started only just the first first uh, uh, pilot solution. And then the, actually the, 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 the purpose of my talk is to attract attention to this really interesting problem. Look, we have three dimensional solitonic solution propagating in four dimensional, uh, in, in three plus one dimensional space. Sorry, it's not a risk invariant. However, the construction of the solitonic solution is extremely rich. It is a subject for a huge number of, of work. So I offer it to more younger generators or of uh, of researcher, so I'm finished here. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, any questions? Please ask questions. We have time for questions. The, the, the last system was not relativistically invariant, is it right? No. Right. Okay. It, it's relativistically invariant in the linear approximation. It's very difficult. It, it's a tricky question. It's probably possible to modify it somehow, somehow to, to, to keep in integrability and relativist convenience to, to put them together. But in it, it was we managed it only in two-dimensional systems, and I can hear of you. Mm. Right. May I it, was, it, it was a kind of <laughs> It was a kind of illusion that we constructed 
complete uh, linear relativistic system. But Ward was first who mentioned that this is not true. May I ask a question? Yes, of course. Uh, Vladimir Evgenich, it looks like that uh, your solitons have infinite energy. How is it possible to construct solitons with finite energy or some other solutions with finite energy? It depends how to find energy for the system so far. It's possible, of course, but because uh, at the infinite number of, of, of if, if you have energy breast, uh, what the number of particles, that's yes, this soliton has fine. Uh, First energy, but it, it's not. It's uh, why not? It's uh, solitons, two-dimensional solitons, three-dimensional solitons with finite energy do, do exist. <coughs> Only one-dimensional solitons. Are they always uh, regular, or singularities can happen? No, it's a regular solution. We also can construct a singular solution too, but it actually it's a regular solution. I restore your determinator, denominator. What is a denominator? This is the use is a denominator, the phi four functional exponents. Hmm. Simple exponents. Well, there is a question from Alexander Orlov. So you to, you say that uh, you did not consider multi-soliton solution yet. So, so, so you, you, so did again, not you did not consider multi-soliton solution yet. So far from from, from my research. Yeah, of course, so, I can do this very easily. So, no but, uh, can you say something about interaction of such solitons? So nothing no. is known. Okay. I, I say only one, then one can construct one solitonic solution with a very complicated in the structure. Thank you. So for, well, the, no, this F is arbitrary function, and all of them depends on this, uh, this constant C. You, you can construct several functions and with different C. So far as C is given, it's a polyton propagating in one direction. But this lambda not, and the, there could be some sum. So it's a very rich, a lot of possibilities to construct a new solitonic solution. It's, uh, it's, so it's a, <laughs> this is a piloting paper only, only, showing the direction for look once more to the system. There it is. For instance, Oh, no, 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 next, 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 next. Look at this system. Psi eta are cone variable, right? And you and you, you bar are perpendicular variable. So it's a four dimensional system. In a, in a little approximation, it's of course a risk invariant system. However, because because uh, you, you could not uh, change the order of this variable. If if you make a symmetrization, you add uh, asymmetric terms. Uh, just just changing. Uh, uh, Permuting you, you and Psi, you get completely, and uh, in, you completely, of course, you get completely uh, reduced convariant system, but you lose integrability. 
So also it's a, it's a pity situation. It's, it's a very teasing situation. So the system is uh, three-dimensional, looks like very nice. It has a huge amount of serotonin solutions. It's finite energy, infinite energy. Expressing can rational functions in, in particular, because when, when I took here F as an exponent, it's just it's just my choice. You can you you, you can choose relativistic uh, um, rational functions, but in this case you should you should be careful about possible singularities, of course. However, it's a, if it's just a polynomials, because determinant also it is determinant also polynomial. Again, a polynomial could be zero. Well, it's, so a special, a special uh, study in this case of exponential function to avoid any problems with possible singularity. But if it's polynomial, everything might happen. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. All right.